Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill at my crafting a little bit, and uh, let's talk about this whole basketball situation with Jerry Ward. Uh, because apparently I made a video on it, and other YouTubers have started making videos on it. Uh, including Lobliner. Lobliner has jumped in and made a video about it. Now, you guys got to love Lobliner's disclaimers because his disclaimers are always, I really like this guy. Uh, he's one of the good guys in the industry, even if it's someone he hates. Like, even when he didn't always really like me. Uh, like, back before we became friends, when he was basically just trying to use me and uh, to gather intel for Norton, uh, back before we were friends, when he really didn't like me because of my stance on a lot of supplements, you know, he would pull that, um, well, Jason, I, I, I like Jason. It's always, I like this person. And then he tried to dance around the subject, you know, because he comes and just flats out, tries to defend him, says he's a good guy, I like him. But then he also says, this whole topic is stupid. This entire thing is so stupid, we shouldn't even have to address it. Uh, while trying to compliment and not be little Jerry, but let's be honest here. When you're saying that a topic that he raised is so stupid that you shouldn't even have to address it, it basically means it's idiotic. And that means Jerry is stupid. And let's be honest, guys. He's right. He's right. Think on that for a moment. Jerry actually tried to create an argument to explain why basketball wasn't cardio. And it's like I said on it. I already said, uh, yeah, this is pretty much cardio. Uh, most basketball players I know, even guys who don't, Go, aren't pro, we're not talking guys with a scholarship or anything, guys who play pickup basketball every night, how many of them are fit and in shape? Majority of them. Majority of them have good conditioning and they're in good shape. They're cardiovascularly fit. Some of them purely from playing basketball every single night, playing pickup games. I've seen plenty of dudes out there who are known guys who do this. They're in shape. And that's the point he had to jump in and make. You know, this is any, if you ever played pickup basketball, it's very clearly, if you played a single game of pickup basketball, it's cardio. And that's the interesting thing. You know, he didn't want to just come and he said the whole topic is stupid without directly calling Jerry stupid. But that is calling Jerry stupid because it really is. And that's the direction things have gone lately with uh, what Jerry says. He's made entire arguments like that. Whole videos like that explaining how Card basketball isn't cardio, and his reason is because he has fat people who he's, he's got his clients who play basketball, and they're not losing fat. Well, in what world does anyone live in to where doing cardio automatically makes you lose fat? Doing cardio can be a useful tool for losing fat, but it's calorie deficit that makes you lose fat, or at least nutrient repartitioning in certain cases. And there's different factors that can cause that, but it's still an energy equation at the end of the day. So if you're eating more than you burn and you do a lot of cardio, you would gain fat. Is that a fair statement? I think we all agree on that. If you're eating in more calories than you burn consistently, you're probably going to gain fat even if you do cardio. The fact that you're doing cardio doesn't mean you lose weight. I mean, that's a ridiculous argument. I mean, using Jerry's argument, sleeping would be cardio if you just cut your calories low enough because you would lose fat while sleeping. I mean, it's ridiculous. That's not the definition of what makes something cardio. It has to do with, does it elevate your heart rate? It is, a, is it something that you move around and do that elevates your heart rate significantly? Does it tax and work your cardiovascular system? Hence, cardio. Not does it burn fat, because again, if it burning fat was how we define cardio. There are plenty of drugs that would be called cardio, wouldn't they? Uh, again, really weird stuff. But, you know, he tries to draw these, these long explanations that don't make any sense. And everyone else, even in the community, even those of us who don't get along, the Loblider and I are not friends at this point. That's very, very clear. We're both looking and going, this is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. You know, and then again, what else has Jerry come out with lately? Uh, God. Oh, anabolics don't do anything. People who don't train hard enough or don't eat enough won't gain any muscle on anabolics. Really? Some of them, people do seem to gain muscle even when they don't eat enough. I mean, we've all seen this. We've all seen skinny under eaters who don't increase their diet. They go on a bunch of trend. They start gaining weight. Why? They increase feed efficiency. 
Some of them, like, like Trend, can actually reduce T3 output slightly. It can slow your metabolism slightly while increasing feed efficiency. So some people could be at what would be their old caloric maintenance and start gaining muscle on it. It happens. It's what happens to feed like cattle on it. It's what it was designed to do. It does it very well. Uh, but to say, oh, if you don't work out, you don't gain muscle on it. Really, Jerry? Uh, we have studies that can disprove that. Meaning we have multiple studies done in a lab under laboratory conditions where we took healthy young men. And by we, I don't mean me personally. I mean the human race. People go, Jason, I hate it when you do that. You, you say we like you did the research. Okay, I don't mean I did the research. Okay, I, I didn't do the research. Let's get that out of the way. People who did the research put these individuals in, in, in laboratory conditions. They made them stop lifting guys who were already lifting. They put them on, on testosterone. What happens? They gain very significant amounts of muscle very quickly while going months without lifting weights. Another little problem I've had in here is Nova keeps trying to get bag puss. No. I've caught him running with him a couple times. This is not good. Once you know how dangerous bag puss is, well, he's going to whimper. All right. But back to this. We have numerous studies that show just flat out proof. No, he's wrong. People don't have to lift weights to gain muscle on him. I mean, look how bad Jerry trains and he gained muscle on him. Jerry practically doesn't train. He gained muscle on gear. Lost it all when he comes off, but he gained muscle on gear. So it's an interesting concept, and he tries to put that forward. It's like we have multiple studies that, that show you're wrong. In fact, we don't have any studies that show that you're right. Meaning every single one of these studies we've done where any significant amount was used, people gained muscle. We don't have any exceptions. And it's not just half the guys in the group gained muscle. All 20 guys gained muscle. All of them. Who stopped lifting. They were already lifting. They quit lifting. And they start gaining muscle. Completely disprovable, but he's insistent upon it. This is how it works. Really? Every single study says that you're wrong. And no study says that you're right. And we've studied this in labs. Where are you getting this? Again, doesn't make sense. So what was his other thing? He was saying he's black because he found out he's 1% African. Uh, and he made, needed to make a video, you know. Hey, guys, I'm black. Because I found that I'm 1% African. It's like, Jerry, most of us are probably 1% African. Um, I'm probably, I bet you if I went and took the test, I'd probably be 1% African, believe it or not. I bet you I would be. Pretty good chance. I'm Eastern European. Probably a decent chance I'm 1-2% African. Not unreasonable. Uh, but yeah, he's just gotten crazier lately. And it's starting to become apparent. The guy is getting to the point to where it's very obvious that he's lost his marbles. Um, he starts giving now training advice, diet advice. It's just clearly disprovable. Basketball is not cardio. Uh, people won't gain muscle and anabolics if they're not training. All these different things that he jumps up and says. Um, and everyone else is just looking going, uh, Jerry, you've lost your mind. Even Like I said, people who don't get along. Loblighter and I don't get along, and Loblighter's going, Jerry, you've lost your mind. Um, you know, and it's like I've been saying, I honestly think, I honestly think it's just all the drugs he used to do. And then we say, oh my God, how can you say that? He brags about it, guys. It's not like the guy doesn't tell war stories about all the heroin he used, all the nubane he used, the fact that he stole from his parents to pay for drugs, things like that uh, during his uh, days of serious addiction. You know what I think? The, the reality is I think he's damaged a lot of brain cells. And I just don't think the guy has much mind left. Um, that's unfortunate. It is what it is. So people say, well, that's awful to say. I'm just saying reality, guys. And that's one reason he just doesn't really seem to know what he's talking about. I think it's all starting to catch up with him. Uh, and I think it's apparent with these things that he says that he's basically lost his marbles at this point. And I think that's a big factor there. I think that's a big factor. Uh, and again, the moral of the story, don't do drugs, guys. Don't do drugs. That's what happens to you. You go do a bunch of drugs, you become an addict, and you don't get off of it soon enough, you're going to end up brain dead as this guy. Uh, that should be a deterrent. That should be enough for guys to say, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I, I need to not do this stuff. Um, and that's the reality of it. And I've known people like him. I've known people over the years who completely lost their mind from too, using too many drugs, too much drug abuse, catches up with them eventually. And I've known a couple of people who were really intelligent. I, guys I knew in high school who were very, very smart. Uh, I know them now. They use too many drugs and they are dumb as a box of rocks.
uh, it has, these drugs can absolutely damage cognitive ability. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, it's just unfortunate that uh, with his damaged cognitive ability that he's still up giving advice. But what's he going to do? All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.